Good afternoon everyone, I hope you're all well. Thank you for joining me live in studio today. My name is Tony Darrick and this is our inspirational channel where you can come and get some hints, tips and techniques with your card making. If you haven't already clicked the subscribe button then please do so. There is a little bell also and that will give you notifications when we've loaded anything new, whether it be me live or whether it be a new quick pick video or anything really it will give you the notification then if you want to watch you can and if you don't watch want to watch it'll stay there forever until you do want to watch maybe one day there is a little HD button as well which gives you a better viewing experience it sort of cleans up that screen so you can see me clearly I look a lot younger when you click that HD button trust me so welcome to the show everyone I hope you enjoyed yesterday's show I had a lot of fun yesterday just experimenting and having the feedback from you lovely uh, ladies and gents yesterday meant a lot actually because a lot of you were coming up with some great ideas which is fab and I, you, do you know where you have one of those nights where you have a technique in your head and you just can't get out and you're like go to sleep go to sleep you just can't get yourself to go to sleep it was one of those nights so thank you everybody and I did see a lot of you had already mastered it as well so you're better than me way way better than me so hi Tracy Amanda Karen May hi Enid I hope you're feeling better sweetheart Julie Anne May Amanda Charlotte Maxine and somebody's telling me they had this jumper on yesterday the lovely Karen yep be kind always so um, in today's studio we are going to be using the lovely craft Academy stamps so as you all know we have started our second part of our craft academy and we've been we went through the individual products and for the last week or so we've been sort of throwing everything at them we've been mixing them together we've been doing variations of techniques and things like that just to maybe um, get you to pick up that stamp even if it's not a stamps by me stamp any stamp that you love and adore in your stash from any company we want you to pick it up and play with it that's why you spend your money and it's a great distraction from what's going on at the moment as well, isn't it? So in today's studio, we're going to use quite a lot of things. So if you saw the um, pre-video there whilst you were waiting to go live, you will have seen the products in there. So I'm going to try and use all of those products in today's live show. So if you have the products, that's brilliant. And you want to craft along, you can pause me, you can mute me, you can rewind me. Um, but if you don't have the products, please don't worry about it, you know, um, you might have something in your stash that works, but if you do want to buy the products, just go to our website and pop FBL into that search engine and it'll bring up all the products um, from our earlier Craft Academy and the ones we're currently working on too, if they're in stock. Oh, May says, have you won an award? Where's that come from, May? What's May been up to? Is she going to tell me I've won an award? Have you all got a cup of tea or a cup of coffee? So before we get into any um, demonstrations, for those of you, I know there's a lot of you that are tuning in new um, lately because you've only just found us at Stamps By Me. But what we did a couple of months ago when we actually went down to the initial lockdown, the 12-week lockdown, we did our first ever Craft Academy. And what happened was lots of our customers sent us makes in using the Craft Academy products. And what we did was we popped a video together using all of the lovely products that you'd bought from us of all the cards that the viewers, i.e. you lovely people at home, had made. We popped them on a video for you so you could all see each other's work. So in today's studio, just to give you that little bit of inspiration and maybe dig out those earlier Craft Academy stamps, check out this lovely inspirational video from back in the day, which was amazing. Check this out.
Hi everyone, did you enjoy that? I really felt like we needed to revisit that because albeit it seems like a long time ago, it was literally just months ago, wasn't it? And it really brought us together as a family, as a creative family. We're not all linked by, you know, blood, but we're all linked by memories and friends and things like that. So I just really wanted to revisit that one and show you that we have done incredibly well as a team. So we strive to be bigger and better moving into 2021 so shall we craft so in today's studio we're going to use these let's show you the stamps first so i'm going to use these two lovely stamps here absolutely gorgeous stamps and i'll just turn them around and show you because they're bigger than what is on the front of the packaging there so these are the two stamps we're going to use today so we're mixing it up a little bit today and we're also using the lovely lovely leaf stencil too to show you that you know stencils are really inexpensive so if you can incorporate them into de into your designs it's sort of a really affordable way to get great looking cards so i did see the message from Anne bert and i did see a message sweeter and i'll have a look after studio for you it didn't go unnoticed i've written your name down here um, i'll have a look for you so let's just crack on with our lovely crafting i hope everybody's well and everybody's fit and well and you know Everybody's okay. Very emotional time. It was actually, wasn't it? I didn't put it on for that reason though. So come on, let's stay, let's stay cheery. So first of all, let's grab our Eureka. Did we all see Carly live today with um, her quintessential paper? She's on again tonight about quarter past seven, I think. So if you're looking for something to watch and TV's not the best, then she's on, a, I think it's quarter past seven. So I'm going to use the silhouette, um, stamped and I'm going to use this corner one here okay so in today's studio I'm going to show you a little bit of a technique obviously I can't come up with all these techniques most of them are not my ideas albeit sometimes I think I'm having this great idea and I can't wait to bounce into studio and show you my great idea to be told it's been around for ages <laughs> um, but I do try and um, do something different so the same stamp you might grab back out that you've been using and think it's exhausted is that stamp but really it's not until we show you something else you might be able to do with it so what i'm going to do first of all is i'm just going to pop this is just a white top folding note card is this one and i've just popped that corner stamp over there so today we're going green we're not having much color today other than green i'm got i'm going through a green phase Okay, so if you can see here, I'll just pull these in. I just grabbed four different coloured ink pads. So I've got Lucky Clover, Peeled Paint, Evergreen Bow, or some call it Bow, and Twisted Citron. Okay, so I'm going for different shades of green in these corners. So I'm going to take one of the colours first. And I'm just going to spot some of the colour all over. So I've done that one, and then I'm going to take the next one. So, you know, mix up those colours. And at the end of the day, if you get a bit of a muddy mess and you're not quite liking it, it's a piece of paper, isn't it? We can always put it in bin and um, do it again with some different colours that maybe work a little bit better together. So just fill in those where I've missed the stamp. So you all saw a couple of shows ago where I stamped it out in a really light colour and then painted it in as a Christmas card. Can you remember? So there's so many ways of using these sort of solid um, stamps and you all know we do our infamous lamination so you could do it with all of those two so I've just got a spray bottle here and I'm just going to give it a little bit of a spritz I don't want like a puddle but I would like a watercolour look so I'm just going to give that a good old push down so we're going to end up with a beautiful green hopefully cluster of leaves in the corner here so I'm just going to give that card opportunity to drink that ink because it is just a normal card blank. I'll just have a drink of my coffee. <laughs> give it a good push down. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to repeat the corner in, in this one here too. So I'm going to lift that up. Hopefully it'll look pretty. Wow. Wow. wow, wow, wow. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my card here. I'm just going to twist it around rather than touch the mucky stamp just going to twist it around like so and then I'm going to see if I can line it up very similar I'm just going to move it over a little bit I'm not going to touch the stamp and I'm going to repeat the process over this corner as well 
So hi Nola, hi Roxy Lee, hi Rosie, hi David. So lots of you on today, which is lovely. I do love it that you come and see me. So I'm going to go through the four shades of green again. So if you're just tuning in, all I'm doing is popping three shades of green onto this solid stamp here. To try and get this beautiful, you see how beautiful that looks like a botanical watercolour painting. You wouldn't have to tell anybody that is not um, your work, I guess. So I'll spray this one. Oh, it just slipped out of my hand. <laughs> slipped out of my hand. So again, I'm just going to give that card the time to drink that ink. Is anybody going through a, a colour theme at the moment that they can't step away from? I'm definitely going through the green at the moment. Green. And there we have two gorgeous, gorgeous corners. Look at those there. They're pretty, aren't they? So let's just clean off our stamp when I find my cloth or some tissue because, just one second, lean right down. Maybe not. I've probably taken it for the wash. <laughs> so let's put this to one, to one side there. So remember to always dry your stamps off. Try not leave them with water on because they will start to smell. So let's just dry this one off. Just help it along a little bit. Somebody's doing housework. Oh, blue, we're going through. Amanda's going through blue. Stephanie's going through burgundy. I love green also. Anne says, I'm going through a green moment. So I'm quite happy with that. In fact, I'm more than happy with that. So let's set this aside. So what I've done is I've got a piece of white cardstock here. Now, it's just a four by four square of white cardstock. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our stencil in two different ways. So what I'm gonna do first of all is I'll pop it on top of my mat here. Sorry, just one second, I am just gonna grab my cloth and I've seen that my cloth has been popped over here and I think Nathan's gonna get the blame for it. He's been pinching my cloths. <laughs> so let's just clean our door here, look. And then pop our stencil on here. So we're going to do positive and negative but on the same piece of card. So normally you would do positive and have the pretty design but I'm going to do both in one today. Let's hope it works. So I'm going to use um, the Twisted Citron. So let's get some green on there. And Lucky Clover. And evergreen bow to try and just bring it all together so I'm sort of like putting ink on in a square because my piece of cardstock is square like so and then this is sort of like the negative of your stencil so I'm just going to spray just get some water on there and then we're going to pop our piece of cardstock onto this square And we're just going to let that cardstock drink the ink and hopefully we'll get some form of leaf design on the back of here. Hopefully. Just going to give it a chance to drink. So I'm sticking with the same colour theme as our background. And then we have this pretty design here. Okay, so that's like the negative, okay? So just set that aside. pick my stencil off just clean the top of my Eureka here and I'm just going to clean the top of this too so make sure your stencil's clean you've got rid of all that water and you're ready to go again and then let's just dry our work so we've already got this lovely coordinating sort of negative design on there
and then hopefully if it allows I'm going to get the stencil can we see here so I'm going to get the stencil so this time we're doing the positive I'm just going to pop the design back on top and cover that lovely negative design I'm just going to line it up best I can. Listen, it's not the end of the world if you don't line it up straight. I'm sure it's still going to look great. And then I'm just going to grab some tape. And hope just to help me um, hold it in place a little bit. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get a shade of green and maybe a darker shade. Hopefully that cardstock won't move underneath. You never know though, hey. Hi, Pat. So then I'm going to use the peeled paint to push through. So remember what we've just done. We've just done the negative. Now we're doing the positive. I'm just going to grab a dauber. Or dabber, as some people call it. I'm just going to stick with the one colour here and just grab a piece to see what it's going to look like, what the colour is. So I've just done it on this scrap here, excuse that name. Uh, I think that'll be okay, let's go for it. It's not the end of the world if it doesn't quite look like a wow, but I just want to show you that you can use your stencils in positive and negative on the same design. So now I'm just going to push through here this alternative colour of green I'm just making sure I hold that cardstock underneath so, because although my stencil is pinned down the cardstock still moves So the stencil that I'm using is the leaf stencil and I've used it in the negative way and dried it off so where you put the ink onto the stencil and pick the ink up and then I've swapped it around and I've just done positive so hopefully underneath this stencil we'll still have that leaf design in those other bright vibrant greens hopefully just getting make sure I get plenty of that color down And I think we'll leave it as is. So let's see what it looks like, hey? But if you're not doing greens and you want to do burgundies or pinks or whatever your colour is at the moment, mine is definitely green at the moment. Oh, he needs his lilac at the moment. Isn't it funny how we all have our... Um... Look at that. So shall I just hold it up? That looks quite impressive, doesn't it, hey? It looks a bit similar to yesterday's um, design, doesn't it, where we did the white drop shadow. Can you remember we did the white and offset the stencil? So that's quite impressive. I'm, I'm quite pleased with that one. Oop. Okay, so let me just blast this off with the gun. So don't forget you can use your positive and negative together when you come to your stenciling. It doesn't have to be one or the other. So let's get this glued together onto our panel. So I have a, pa a, black, a black panel here and I also have a like piece of mirror board. So let's get them together. I'm 
Just make sure I've cut them the right way. So you can see how it instantly pops as soon as you pop it onto that black layer. And then I'm going to pop this onto a piece of gold. Make sure it's the right way. So then you get that pretty, pretty design, right? Let me just grab a um, block so it'll sit underneath it while we do the rest of our work. There we go, so I'll set that aside. So let's move on to the next stage of our card. So we need our Eureka. And just make sure I've got no water on my door. So a white piece of cardstock and we will use which lady today? Going for the, oh, you know when we did the lady with the lines in we'll go for the different one this time. So I've, there's about four videos now using these and I think, I think there's about three or four using the solid stamp as well. So I'm just going to heat emboss this one in gold. This is going to be in keeping with our card. So anti-static bag all over. It gives us a lovely finish with our work. Sticky ink pad. And then we'll just stamp it onto this white piece of cardstock here. Don't forget your tea or your coffee. <laughs> and we've got a lovely, lovely print there. Just grab a piece of cardstock for waste. So we're going to do. Um, gold very quickly because it's going to dry out with the lights we get some gold on there I did see what I mean I don't think that's stuck now no nope. can we see there because I <laughs> I messed around it didn't stick very well so let's do it again you have to be quick under these lights, unfortunately. I think I've got about 17 lights on me. <laughs> so I'm just going to quickly, very quickly, stamp it out again. I'm just going to use the back of it, actually. I'm just going to brush off that embossing powder. And I'll just use the back. So let's do it again. So anti-static again. Make sure my stamp's in the right place here. So sticky ink pad. I think we'll stamp it twice not to risk hay. <laughs> I'll stamp it again just to be safe. <laughs> Just make sure I've got everything in place. There we go. So there she is, look, with a lovely sketchy gown. Lovely, lovely. So 
So let's get this lovely lady heat set. Get it done warm. It should be already warm because we've used it for our designs. As soon as it's hot. Just chase that powder as it melts. I'll just hold this up and show you how gorgeous she is. Pretty awesome, hey? <laughs> right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take a piece of card. Let's just move this out of the way first. Pop this onto the front of our door here. I'm just going to take this piece of card and I'm just going to take my scissors. I'm so, sort of like, I mean, you can do a proper mask, but I'm just going to mask off the lady at the top. Can we see it there? So I've just got that lovely lady's dress there. I'm just going to pop that there. And then I'm going to bring in my stencil. Put my stencil over the top. Make sure her skin is masked off. There we go. I'm just going to try and pop some of this stencil design through onto her gown. So, you know, when we do our paper piecing with our lovely papers, they look great, don't they? So, but you can use your stencils to pop detail into gowns and things. So, do we go a different colour than green? Let's just have a look. Yeah, I'm going to go a different colour so she doesn't all blend into one. I'm going to go with Mermaid Lagoon. So it's a bit of a blue, but green and blue work really well together. So I've just popped that stencil design onto her gown. I'm just going to stencil through the detail onto her gown. Now, don't worry about it if it goes outside of her gown because I'm going to cut her out. So it's not a great shake. And the detail will be within her gown then. And because we've heat embossed underneath, what will happen is the heat embossed will act as, as a resist and the ink won't stay on it. We'll be able to just brush it off with a tissue. So let's get this blue onto here. Now, if it doesn't work and it looks a bit hectic and we can't quite figure out what's going on, I'll just add some watercolour over the top and push it back. So, so I've got that stencil underneath though, so she doesn't end up with a leaf on her neck or a head or in a hair. And if it looks too frantic or too busy, I'll just go in and add some colour. Because of the lines in her gown, you see, it might look a little bit busy, but we're never going to know unless we do it, are we? Can we see that there? I think that'll work. So I'm going to cut her out first. So I'm just going to take my scissors. I'm just going to fussy cut really quickly around the gown. Now, it's got quite a bit of detail around the base of the gown. Don't be scared to cut a little bit of it away. You'll never know that there was meant to be a piece of gown there. So I'll just take my scissors around the gown. And again, if you do it and you don't like it, just stamp it out again onto some pattern paper and cover her up. But you're never going to know if these things work unless you actually do them. So I'm just going carefully around a hairline, up and around the arm, down a side.
and there we have a lovely leaf gown so she's keep in keeping with our card design there so I might add some sparkle there could be sparkle just to make a pop so I'm just going to grab my pencils one second so pens pencils whatever you have in your stash and I'm just going to add some color to her body because she's white at the moment and I need to have a bit of color so I'm just going to go with the orange now if I use that orange she's going to look like she's been on a sunbed for a month so that's just not a good sketch <laughs> let's use the peachy orange hey let's be sensitive to our lady but obviously you can color her whatever you want to so I'm just going to use this pencil and I'm just going to give her a little bit of some skin skin tone and again that embossing will act as a resist so we we'll just see now she's got a bit of color to her skin shall we give her some colored hair Shall we go green? I'm only joking. Green hair, come on. Some people do have green hair though. That's all right with me. Not on my card though. I'm just trying to figure out which is brown. My eyes are so bad. There we go. So the gold embossing is available in the small pots, we just don't have it in the big pots. You might want to check Claire's website actually, see if she's got any, because it is obviously Claire's, so if it's going to be anywhere it will be on her website. Um, but I think from recollection it has sold out. I don't know if she's getting any more, I don't, I don't know the plans on that, I've not actually had a chance to properly speak to Claire for a while. So let's add some sparkle to this gown and make her amazing. So let's just move these things out of the way. So our card's coming together really nicely. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to use um, the Perfect Together glue and I'm just going to add some sparkle down a gown. This dries clear, so I'm just going to follow the lines of a gown. A little bit on the bodice and then these lines, I'm just going to follow these lines. And I'm going to use the Anna Marie Chunky one for this one. I'm going to give a whole lot of sparkle. These would make gorgeous Christmas gowns. I don't want to over egg it because I don't want to hide all of that leaf design because it is quite pretty. There we go. So let's pop some sparkle on here. Now you have to be super careful with this because it is like glass trust me I know straight through the finger so be super careful if you have got this stuff it's incredible but my gosh can it cut so I'll just clear clean this out of the way and show you what it looks like and don't forget the white glue underneath will dry clear so it'll look really pretty Very pretty. Let's go and put our card together. I think it's going to look cool. So let's decide on sentiment as well. So we've got our white top folding note card, which we did our lovely green design. And let's just move the, this out of the way for now, because I'm not certain on what we're going to do with our sentiment. So we have this, and then we have our panel, which we created, so you can see here. Can we see that there? And then we have our lovely... I'm going to pad the lady, but I am going to add a sentiment now. Sentiment. Let me think. Let's put this together first. So I'm going to pop some pads under here. I'll just pop some pads under so 
So whilst I'm just popping some pads under there, I'm just going to grab the big chunky sentiment. Hopefully that'll fit on. We will see. So I'm just popping some pads just to raise this lovely decorative square that we've created with our stencil. So Sarah's asking when will we be getting the glitter and the embossing powder back in stock. I Neither of them are my products, unfortunately, um, Sarah. So um, the embossing powders is Claire's, and I haven't spoken to Claire whether she's going to be getting any more or not, but I can find out for you. And the Anna Marie glitter, um, we have ordered more, but we're just waiting. So it's just a, just a waiting game. If not, maybe try Anna Marie's website. She might have some on there. So let's just figure out where we're going to pop our sentiment. So I've got this lovely stamp set here, which is the one with the lovely big sentiments on there. And I love the, you're a whole lot of lovely, yes you are. And I'm thinking maybe we should pop it in the corner of here because it's a lady and she is lovely. So let's go for it. What I am going to do, excuse me, is I am going to, now I've padded, haven't I? Not a good sketch. So I've popped the pads under there. So when I come to stamp now, it might be difficult. I'm still going to go for it. What's the worst that could happen? So I'm just going to pop my design into here. Fingers crossed it does it. I'm really tempting fate here, aren't I? Let's just have a look. Should, should we actually pop it down here? I'm going to go for it on the panel. If it doesn't work, we'll have to do another panel. I'm okay with it. Note to self, don't do your padding until you've done all your stamping. So anti-static bag on that corner so we get a lovely crisp. Shall we go black? No, let's just go gold. We're going for it here, guys. So, fingers crossed it does it. I have an embossing pen if we miss. And I can't see if it's stamped at all, which is not good. So I'm going to go for it twice. Please be kind. I'm live on air. Please be kind. <laughs> I'm going for it anyway, so we'll soon find out if I've missed anywhere. It did it. <laughs> You're a whole lot of lovely. Yes, you are. Has to be the first time ever. So let's just move this one out of the way. So we're going to heat set this one. So whilst I'm talking to you, to my, I'm not here tomorrow or Friday um, because I'm on air on Friday with Create and Craft and I'm travelling down tomorrow. But I'm with you tomorrow morning at 10.30 for a Facebook Live on the Stamps by Me Facebook page. You need to tune in because we've got something new to show you. So 10.30, Facebook Live, stamps by me tomorrow. When I'm getting my gun hot, the hotter it is off the page, the less chance it's going to start to warp all of my card stock and cause bubbles. Hopefully you'll be able to see that here. There we are. 
You're a whole lot of lovely, yes you are. So let's pop this onto here. Oh, Charlotte's not on Facebook. Don't worry though, Charlotte. I am live on Create and Craft. At, I think it's 7.30 on Friday morning. So if you want to pop it on your recorder on Create and Craft, you'll be able to see it then. I've got a lot of stock, so please don't worry about missing out. So just pop this down here. So you can see we've got our lovely panel. That would be beautiful. If you just stamp that in the centre there, it's a card finished, isn't it, if you don't like the fuss? So, oop. So this is still drying nicely, so I'm going to pop some pads on the base of a gown. Oh, I, uh, that's the thing, isn't it? I said I was going to tell you all something tomorrow. I'll tell you on Facebook Live. Let's pop our lovely lady on this side here, look. Now you could go really high or really low. I'm going to go a little bit lower. See that there? And I'm going to pop some glue under her body. So a couple of techniques in this card, isn't there, with the um, stenciling positive and negative on one, which is this one, and then the stenciling onto her gown. And let's just add some sparkles, because we can. Oops. Just going to add some around her and on a gown too. I'm going to use clear ones because I just think they look really pretty when the light just catches them and they're not too overwhelming either. As you can see, I love the clear ones, they're nearly all gone. But if you did a big sheet of the stenciling, you could cut it down into twos and then you've got two cards on the go at the same time. Yeah. So if you're making one card, make two, three, four. Oh, that's a coloured one. That's no good. Oh, one in the middle of a dress and then we're done, I think. Could you imagine if you did like a cascade of sequins down a gown? if you have the time. <laughs> just pop these under here and then I think we're done. Let's just tidy the station a little bit. So it's green theme today. Just tilt it down. So you get a lovely sparkle in the gown. You get that lovely heat and boss sentiment on that square panel. So, and the foliage in the green just looks beautiful at the back of a gown, doesn't it? Just think about Christmas red gowns, you know, for Christmas cards, or prom, or pretty pinks and oranges. It would look absolutely incredible. I'm just going to step out of the way so we can just take a quick photo. And thank you very much. So, the world is your oyster, really. And if you don't have our products, it's not the end of the world. You will have something in your stash. If you don't have a gown, do you have a cat, a dog, a lamppost? Anything would fill that space there. It doesn't have to be a person. So, whatever you've got in your stash, get, get going through those stashes and have a play and just enjoy them. That's what they're all about. So, um, I'm not with you tomorrow or Friday. Back with you Monday. Um, and tomorrow, Facebook Live half past 10. I've got some exciting news to tell you all about 
and I have some new products to show you. It seems like I haven't launched anything in a while, but it's actually not been that long. <laughs> so I will see you all tomorrow. Check out this lovely VT and stay safe and I'll see you all later. Take care. Bye.